Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video it is time like I've done I think three seasons in a row now or actually four I'm gonna be ranking every single tier 100 skin that we've had so just like in the last video as you know in the last season's battle pass we had sort of two tier 100s we had one so the, the as you know the Mandalorian was a tier 1 skin but actually you unlocked you could you can uh, start unlocking his armor at level 100 and with Menace, you got him like tier 70, and then you could start unlocking his armor about tier 80 or something. But everyone thought that was tier 100 skin. A lot, a lot of people thought Mandalorian was tier 100 skin, and a lot of people thought Menace was tier 100 skin. So, what I did is I put both of them on the list to, to settle everyone's opinion. So, both the Mandalorian and, Men uh, and the Menace skin are on this list, just want to say. But we got a lot of new, we got a really cool new one, a very strong new one as well Spire Assassin, guys. So. We're gonna get into it, and yeah. So first of all, before we do anything, give me I want to pause this quickly. Hello. Give me a minute. Oh God, my phone. Ah, right. Well, that didn't go so well, did it? <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, guys, take two. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my new channel, which is Dragon Warrior Reviews, please check it out. This is the channel which I actually want to get big because one of my favourite things ever is to review like collectibles. So I've only got five subscribers at the moment. You, I really hope you guys subscribe. I'll tell you, I've got a lot of stuff on here actually. So. Uh, I, I'll, I'll take you through really quickly what I've done on here, you know, I've done, uh, just welcome to my new channel, but you can watch that if you want, but it's just telling you what, about the channel, I've done the Ancient Predator review, uh, the Deluxe Hot Toys Best Guy Mandalorian review, which are, these two videos are on my channel with the exact, on this channel right now, you know, no, on Dragon Boy right now, with the exact same thumbnail, so if you've already watched these, you do not have to watch these on my main channel, in fact, you don't even have to watch it at all, if you want to watch them, uh, and you've already watched them. Maybe if you want to watch them again, you can watch them on here. Anyway, uh, the rest of the videos, other than these two, are not on the new channel. So on, on Dragon Warrior, because on, on this on this one right now, which is Dragon Warrior, obviously, the normal Dragon Warrior, I, I I posted these. I reviewed these two hot toys, and I put the exact same thumbnail on. And I wanted to bring these two hot toys to the new channel, Dragon Warrior Reviews, just because these are hot toys and. These are the main things I was going to review, so, you know what I mean, so, if you've already watched these on my main channel, which is Dragon Warrior, and you want to watch them again, you can come on here and watch them here, or if you've already watched, if you've already watched these two, and you want to watch some of these reviews, you've got loads more, I know I've done the, what, a bit of Goldfish, the Lucky Edition of this glove, uh, I, I, I already did the HST on my main channel, but I did it again on this, on, um, on my new one, I'm not sure if it's better than the one which I did a long time ago, I don't know, I and mean, I've, I've also done another review, I done the Iron Gotley review, which I did on this channel, but I uh, decided to do it again, which I think this one is better, so you better go watch that one, right? And then you got uh, Hulk Hot Toys, you got some lazy ones as well, you got this one, and that one, that one, more lazy stuff. There's a lot of parts, the lazy, I don't think there's going to be many more parts, when it is summer, uh, when it's really hot, we'll, 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 we'll give it another go at burning stuff, because I think it'll be better, but, yeah, this, this is what we've been doing, okay, this is... Really, uh, another lazy. That's the last one we did, and yeah, the trash packs as well. Oh no, yeah, I did a um a video where I sort of little nostalgia video. But anyway, guys, let's get in. Oh god, uh, let's get in to the skins, shall we, guys? It's time to rank the skins. Okay, guys, coming in at the number sixteen spot is a uh, reaper so like all the other videos reaper is my least favorite tier 100 he's a cool he's clean he's got a clean suit on i like his brown skin and his beard but i feel like he's the worst one i think he's cool by the way you can hear this like drilling machine in the background uh, uh sorry about that but at least i put some music in the background but uh yeah so um, reaper is a good skin i have to admit he's a oh he's a very good skin but he uh, is the worst, I think, 200 we've had. So, yeah. So that is Reaper. That's the number 16 spot. Okay, guys. Coming in at the number number 15 spot. I need to cross these out as I go along. But coming in at the fifth, number 15 spot is Lux. So, like I've said before, Lux is a very good 200. She's really cool. You've got the red version, the white version, the black version, and the gold. My favourite ones are the default, which is red, and the gold. So, I think Lux is good skin. Another clean skin, which looks really good. Uh... I've said this many times, I should have got 200 in season 8, but for some reason I didn't. I've done every single weekly challenge there was. I played the game quite a lot. I grinded Team Rumble a lot. Like more, I, I played more than an hour in some days as well. Uh, I've done a lot of daily challenges and I still didn't get it. I was two tiers away from Hubster. I'm quite, 
I'm quite upset about that one, guys, but that's what happens. But still, Lux is a really good skin, 15 spot. Uh, yeah, there's not much I can really do for Lux there. She's not the best to own, seriously. Okay, guys, coming in at the number 14 spot is Black Knight. So, Black Knight is a really cool skin. I like how clean he looks. The black and red go really well, especially like black eyes. I mean, red eyes, but still, like I said, with, I haven't said. I used uh, quite a while ago. I think my first ever one I did. I I I ranked Black Knight quite high, but I I, I had a, at this time I had a, a big think uh, to myself: Are these skins good? I need to think about the styles, the detail. Are the skins good? So the skin's good. I really like it. It's clean, beautiful, very detailed. But still, number fourteen position. I can't really put it any higher. Oh god, oh, 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 that, uh, dang it, oh, oh, I messed up, I'll be back in a minute guys. As you probably know guys, as you can see, sorry about that mistake there, we all make mistakes, but coming in at number 13 spot is Fusion. Now Fusion is another very slim and cool skin. The only reason I, now, I, the reason why I ranked it quite low is because I don't think he's the best skin, like he looks cool. This style here, as you can see, looks incredible. You've got the, the purple bits all over it, the special glowy parts. It's quite cool. I and mean, the next style is is black. Oh god! Uh, 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 stupid adverts. People really need to stop doing adverts. Sorry about that. As I was saying, the glowy style is very cool for it. Also, the second style is good. The, the, the black and also the silver. You know, he's got a black suit just like that one, but with a silver mask, as you probably saw with a glimpse of uh, when I messed up. And then also, then the final one, I'm not very sure about, it's sort of like a Shadow Midas in some ways, it's like, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's got a white suit and a gold mask, and I don't really like it that much, like, the, the skin's good, but like I said, it's not my favourite, okay, uh, this is my opinion, so don't dislike the video if, if you don't, if, if my opinions are not good enough, but yeah, so number 13 spot for Fusion. Oh, by the way, guys, by the way, guys, I just want to say that the... Um, these are not, I don't have half of these skins, I only have one tier 100, which is the Midas skin, and like I've said many times, I've seen gameplay of all these skins, and I, from my eyes, I can still rank the skins, okay guys? I uh, just want to say that, um, these are my opinions, so, yeah, and what else is I going to say? Uh, oh yeah, I use people, other people's videos just to show what the skins look like, uh, but most of these skins are coming from uh, a video, uh, which Tabor Hill did a, a, a while ago, um, a, uh, a, what's it called? It was it was done the 13th of March 2020, Table Hill video. It was shown like people in the locker. I just want to shout him out because he shows the skins very well. well. Other people will know locker videos, just flick through the skins as quick as possible. But he's actually the one which does it slowly. So, guys, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, enjoy the rest of the video, I guess. Okay, guys, coming in at the number 12 spot is. Is Dyer guys. So I, I the Dyer I really like. He's a wolf. So first of all, he starts off as a man, and then the next style he sort of comes in as a a, 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 were, a, a man, sort of like a man but with hair on him. And then he comes into a proper werewolf, as you can see. And he comes with different colours, different colours for his little like bandana thing. And I really think he's very cool. Dyer's a very cool skin, a very cool wolf skin. I think he did. I they could have improved the skin a lot, but I think it's a very good skin. And it's very. Um, I think it was a good pick for the number twelve spot. So yeah, let's die up. Okay, guys, coming in at the number eleven spot is Ultimate Knight, guys. So by the way, as you put, if you've watched all my uh, ranking videos, you know that. Uh, I'm using the same pictures as I usually do, you know, uh, on Table Hill's video. Just, just to show you subscribe to Table Hill because he shows skins very well. The only, one of the only reasons why I still play Fortnite is because of the skins. I love buying skins and, and reviewing them. But anyway, Ultimate Knight, I really like him. I love that you got the, the bulky version. I think all the stars good. So first of all, you start with like, the really bulky version, which is the uh, gold, gold, silver, and red. Then it goes to a slimmer version, which is red, gold, and silver. And I really think... I really think... Um, this is a very good skin. Ultimate Knight is a very good skin. One of the best skins I've seen, actually. Uh, and yeah, very good skin for the season eight, season ten battle pass. So yeah, uh, that's Ultimate Knight, number eleven spot. So yeah, that's the number eleven spot. Okay, guys, coming in at coming in at the top ten position is Ice King, and the reason why I put Ice King on top of Ultimate Knight is because I really like the skin. Originally, I, I ranked it quite low, but now I've had a proper look at the skin. I think it's really good. I know it doesn't really change much, but I think the colours really give a difference. The, the blue and sort of silver version is okay. The red and black version is amazing. 
The uh, silver and white is okay, but the gold and black is the one you really want to go for. It's a very bulky skin, it's probably not the best skin to use in game, but it is one of the coolest skins. Some skins don't look good when you use them, but they look better in, in love. I think this one does look good when you use it, because you've got the back spring in there, but I think uh, the number 10 spot is good for ice skins. A lot of people will disagree with me, but I really like ice skins. Okay guys, coming in at the number 9 position is Vendetta. So Vendetta is an extremely good skin because he has so many styles. You can have him without the suit on, you can have him with like a vest with more of a suit on and a hood on. You can also have him with his mask on, the, the little flames, and you could choose a lot of uh, colours. You can red, blue, orange, and I think green, as you can see, green's on the screen. And now this skin's cool, but I noticed something about this skin. When I was watching other people use this in game, I don't think it looks very good when you're using it, in my opinion. Like, it, it looks good from the front, but when I, when I see people use it in game, it looks okay. For some reason, it looks a little bit, just a little, just a teeny bit strange when you're using it. It looks a bit strange on the back, you know, but it's still a good skin. It's amazing. It, it definitely deserves the number nine spot. Okay. Okay guys, coming in at the number 8 spot is the Mandalorian skin. So for some reason I put this at number 1 last time. The reason why I, I put it at number 1 last time is because I was really into the Mandalorian. I'm still extremely in the Mandalorian, but I think I was, because, because it was the start of the season, I was super crazy about it. But the Mandalorian skin, here we are. So I, the reason why I, I like it better than Vendetta is one, because I love the Mandalorian. It's one of my favourite characters in any of the shows ever. And two, it's a really good skin. Fortnite did it a really good job on the skin. You can have it on his default version, version, which I don't think Mandalorian looks good without his best guard armor. But when he has his best guard armor, it looks amazing. You can have, if you don't like a, a, a certain part of his best guard armor, you can turn it off if you want. And it's a very good skin. It looks just like the movie or whatever. And he has his own weapon, own jetpack, or not movie, but. Yeah, so number eight spot, I, I think it's, you know, it's good for the Mandalorian. Mando, yeah, it's really, really, really good skin, and, uh, yeah, I think it's one of the best crossover skins we have. Probably the best Star Wars skin, in my opinion. Mandalorian is sort of Star Wars, yeah. Okay, guys, coming in at the number eight spot is Iron Man. So, the reason why I choose Iron Man is because, one, he has one of the coolest emotes in the game, and two, look at these styles. Like, you've got the silver one, you've got the gold one, and you can't forget the holofoil. Are you ready? So the whole of, so the, the, oh god, ignore the little controller thing, but this, this, this skin is amazing, because one, you can have him at Tony Stark version, and also when you unlock the holofoil style, but you also, uh, go on to his, like, black suit as well, which pick most people to the sweats used the Tony Stark version, I'll use the Iron Man version, but I really like it, like, I love the holofoil style, I love the golden one, it's okay the golden one though, but I love the silver one, but the best one is the holofoil, I, I like the show, the emote is incredible, you can transform into Iron Man, and it has to be one of the coolest skins I think we've ever had, number 7 spot, He's perfect for this skin. Iron Man is insane. The reason why I don't buy Battle Passes, guys, is because I don't have an... Uh, they take a lot of uh, time to do, and I, I don't really have as much time. And I, I just don't want to grind out Battle Passes. They're very stressful, and yeah, so I prefer just to buy a skin out of Battle Pass. I don't really like, you know, grind out Battle Pass. If I had loads of time on my hands, like the YouTubers do, I would. But I can't, I would, I can't. It's just too stressful. If I had infinite time, I would be fine with it, but yeah, but Iron Man is incredible. Horrorfoil, probably the best girl, and yes, yeah, the number 7 spot for Iron Man. Okay guys, coming in at the number 6 spot is Internal Knight. So this skin is amazing. The only reason I like this skin so much is because of the Enlightened style. If it wasn't for the Enlightened styles, this skin wouldn't be my favourite, okay? One of my favourites, okay? This wouldn't be this high if it wasn't for the Enlightened Star skin. Oh god, there's an advert. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Sorry about those adverts, guys. Everyone, I just hate adverts. But honestly, really, adverts are just so annoying. But, oh, there's an advert, but... False alarm, guys, that wasn't an advert. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, number six, it's style for the Internal Knight. Uh, the, the, the base styles are good, but honestly... Okay, ignore that stupid noise, but... You know that 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 uh, blowy thing, guys. But honestly, the internal night. The only reason that I choose it is uh, uh, the only reason it's this high is because the enlightened stars. I love the red, I love the gold, and I also love that silver. This is what it looks like when it's been, when it's just progressing, by the way. But anyway, that's internal night number six spot. I'll just wait for a thing to stop, and then I'll do the next one. Okay, guys, coming in at the number five spot is Ragnarok, and the reason why I put him over internal night is I didn't want to. At the moment, I'm feeling Internal Knight should be above Ragnarok. I think Iron Man should, but if you think about it, no, it shouldn't because Ragnarok 
have all this really cool stuff. So he's got his base style. He also got uh, uh, yeah, which is lo it looks kind of cool. When he got the style, he gets more armor. Then he gets more hair and armor. Then he gets a bit more armor uh, and more crazy hair. And then he gets his mask and the lights. And also you have the shoulder pad still off. And honestly, this skin is amazing. It would be a lot better if you could have different colors for the lights or whatever. But I kind of want to put Internal Knight at the, at the top of this guy, but this guy is obviously better because all the styles, like, if I, this would be one of the skins I would choose if, if I had this in my locker room. This is one of the best skins. I'm super sorry about that noise, guys. Um, it, I don't know, just listen to the music here. There's this really loud blowing noise. I don't know what it is. I don't know why they're doing it when I'm doing the video, but I don't even know what it is. But anyway, Internal Knight, I'm in, uh, Broken Rock number five position. I think it's a good spot, okay? So, yeah. Okay guys, coming in at the number 4 spot is Fire Assassin. Now the reason why I put this above Ragnarok is because 1. This skin looks incredible and 2. There is more styles to this skin which I will show you in a minute. So first of all, yeah, so first of all you've got the normal style, you've got the chrome style which is basically this style but more silver. Then you've got uh, a chrome style which has a bit of purple on it and then you have a gold style which has a bit of purple on it which I will show you in a minute. But this skin's cool. Honestly, there's an emote for this. When you, uh, there's an emote for this skin. She's, she's actually a girl underneath. There's like she has sort of like a, a, a like a sort of a brown face with like a a white sort of like balaclava thing on. And then you could do an emote where she puts a helmet on. I don't really like her without a helmet on, but with a helmet on, she looks amazing. But this skin looks incredible. So I just love this skin. Uh, it, it deserves to be in the number four spot. And yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll just I'll be back in a minute. I'll, I'll find that gold style. Okay guys, this is the golden style to her, she looks incredible, and I'm going to say it again guys, I am so sorry about the noise in the background, that blowy sound and that, um, yeah, uh, please don't dislike the video because of that, but yeah, this is, a, this is style, and yeah, so let's move on to the number uh, 3 position. Okay guys, coming in at the number, what's it called? Number three position is Midas. So as you know, Midas is one of my most favourite 200 skins. It's got it's got quite a few styles. You've got the default bone, which I think the default bone is okay, but it's not a, my skin. If it was just for the default bone, I would the skin would nowhere be will be nowhere near as high as this. Also, the shadow bone is cool. You got the gold and the black. That looks really cool. But still, for that version, it wouldn't be ranked as high as this. The shadow bone is good, but I don't. But I but if it was just that version. Uh, it wouldn't be ranked very high as high as this. If it was just a shadow and default, yes, it it would be ranked a decently amount of high if it was just shadow and default or ghost and default, whatever, or, I don't know. But the main reason I rank it so high is because the golden, the full gold version is amazing. Now, I, as you know, if you watch some of my Fortnite videos, I, my full gold mine is, is my main skin. I, 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 I did put all my presets from random. Uh, so I haven't really forgotten this lately. I put I, all my, I think 30, I got 33 skins in my locker. I put all 33 skins on random, so it's gonna be quite rare for me to get Midas. But Midas is one of my favourite skins in the entire game. Full gold version. Default one is cool. Oh, sure, okay. Shadow one is really good actually. Ghost is really good, but gold is amazing. So this was at number one before, but I've had a bit of a change of heart. I need to think, guys. Is the skin good? Gold is good. So everyone thinks gold's good, and it suits him as well. But I have to think, there's two more skins which could be slightly better than mine. So, so, like, the way they're made and the way they are, the styles, okay? That's how I think. Styles, default, and the way they're made. I don't care about hitboxes or anything. I care about the skins, the way they look. So yeah, that's number three. Okay, guys, coming in at the number two spot is Omega. So Omega is amazing. The reason why I put it so high is because when I watch Big John's Gaming, uh, what's he called, Big John's Gaming reaction, I mean, you know, his ranking of skins, I thought, yeah, you're right, this skin is amazing, and I had a good thing about it, and I think this skin has to be one of the best we've ever put in the game, because, look, you get so many colours, like, the default one's okay, but when he gets the actual more armor on, it looks actually really good, when he gets the mask on, it's cool, but when you get the lights, it's the best, if I go back a little bit, these are all of the styles, as you can see, uh, it's, it's not a stupid controller thing which keeps coming up, like, it shouldn't, it shouldn't keep coming up, but, uh, as you can look at all of the styles, and this is actually one of my, this is probably my favourite, actually, I'll keep it at this, this is one of my favourite styles, but Omega is incredible, like, one of the best skins I've ever seen, definitely deserves the number two spot, but now, guys, the number one spot, I don't know, I don't know how, I don't remember how far I put this 
in the last one. I think I put this like at least number three or four, but number one spot, guys. It's coming up. This is a big one. Okay, guys, coming in at the number one spot is the Exenomorph skin, also known as the alien skin in Fortnite. Now, I'm just joking, guys. The alien skin isn't an, a tier 100. In fact, it's not even a battle pass skin. But by the way, guys, uh, this skin is one of my favorite skins in the game, by the way. But uh, the Xenomorph skin, make sure you buy it if it comes back. But yeah, I'm just joking. A Xenomorph isn't a tier 100 skin. And yet again, sorry about that stupid noise. What, why? What on earth is that noise? But anyway, the real tier 100 skin is the, uh, on the number the one, the one position, really is. Is. A chicken, guys. That is the tier 100 skin. A chicken. Uh, the wandering chickens which are in this season. The really cute little tiny chickens which are just walking on the map on this season. I don't really want to show you them because, you know, you know the chickens don't really want to be looked on the camera. But yes, you guys, if you did enjoy this video, remember to hit the subscribe button. And like, hopefully I haven't made any mistakes or anything like that. Hopefully uh, I haven't missed any numbers out or missed any skins out. Okay, so I'll see you guys later, I guess. Um, 200 skin, the best one in my opinion is chicken. Easy. Ugh. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I'm just joking. The real tier 100 skin, the real number one spot is... Are you ready, guys? Is... <laughs> what do you see? Is Menace. And the reason why I choose Menace as my favourite tier 100 is because, one, he, oh god, sorry about the controller thing. It's because, oh, uh, go away controller thing. It's because he has so many blooming styles. And so much gold on him, so much purple. Uh, very styles, you know, like the, uh, the bluish style, the goldish style, and also the zero point style. I don't think they're very good, by the way, because you can't, uh, have those styles on with the armor on, sadly. But, uh, forget about those. Other than those styles, this skin is absolutely amazing. It's actually better than mine, it's just the way it looks. This is basically my just all tanked up. Gold and purple. I love purple and I love gold. Both of my dark purple and gold is, are my two favourite colours. But look at this skin. This is Tabor Hill, by the way. Um, subscribe to him. He's the one which showed it. The, this is the best YouTube, I think, which, which showed the skin really well. So, here we are, guys. Menace is my favourite skin. I hope you like my little, um, uh, little uh, meme there with the chicken and that. But... Anyway, I hope I haven't made any mistakes, and yeah, just give you a good look at it. This skin is insane. If you think an item shop skin, I would buy it. Here we are, guys. Just give you a good look. He's very good at showing, Paper Hill is. Wow, this move is good. Oh, you, yeah. Okay, like, you basically seen enough of this skin, really, guys. Oh, my God, this move is amazing! Oh! 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 Hope you enjoyed, by the way, guys. By the way, guys, recently I did get... Uh, I did beat my kill record in solos, by the way, which is 10 kills. If you haven't checked out that video, please check it out. It, the title of the video is, I finally got a 10 kill win in Fortnite. And, yeah, that's just one of the good videos. You can check it out. Uh, not 10 kills, that's the highest kills I've ever got. I, I, actually, I did get it once, but it didn't really count because it was in the, uh... What's it called? It was in the, um... Uh... In, I, 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 got, I got nine kills, and then one of, one of those, and then I died, and became a shadow, and then got the last kill, I didn't really count, but I actually properly done it on normal solos, guys, and, uh, yeah. Also, guys, I did a summary of my Minecraft survival series, as you can see, this was a really good video, actually. I think I did really well on this video, uh, you can check it out if you want to see it, and, uh, yeah, so please subscribe, also subscribe to my new channel, and hit that bell for notifications, and, uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and, uh, yeah, and if you want, guys, you can go to my new channel and comment down below, because you can't comment on this channel, you can comment down below what is your favourite tier 100 skin if you want, uh, because mine is Menace at the moment. <laughs> By the way, guys... 
the chicken is the real tier 100 skin. I don't care what you guys say, the chicken is the real tier 100 skin.